Hey guys, this is the Signature Elite X. Uh, I'm going to open it up. We're opening it up in the showroom. I thought I'd show you through how exactly that we do it. Um, we say that it can be done under 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to open it up like normal and show you how it can be done under 10 minutes um, and also sort of lead you through how we actually do it. What I've got with me, um, I've got a couple of poles that I need inside. So I've got six, po uh, six poles that we need inside. I've got a rope for the boat rack and I've got the key for the door. It's all you need to get the thing open up. Um, to start with, we're going to unhook the boat rack from the back. Uh, so there's a couple of locating pins. I'll just duck around the back and unhook them. So I'll take the pins out, those pins there, out of the uh, out of the boat rack um, from where they sit. Just have them handy close by. I'm going to come back around to the front and start unhooking the boat rack. Uh, for this, because I'm doing it by myself, I actually use a rope uh, just to help bring it over so it doesn't take off from you. It is on gas struts, that way it's nice and easy to do. So we're just going to unhook it. Three hooks for the boat rack. And then we're just going to let the rope take it. That'll go over. If you're doing it with two people, you can have someone on the other side that'll actually just help catch the boat rack. It's not going to go all the way. As you can see, eventually it'll actually just stop. Wouldn't let it go though. Um, come down to the other side, grab your pins. We're just going to lift the boat rack back up so we can get the pins in there. So I've got one pin there and the other pin is going in the other side. We're now going to start unhooking the lid. So you've got four clips on the Elite X, you've got six clips on the Elite. Gonna come around and unhook these. As you can see, as I'm starting to do it, it's already starting to take off. Struts, gas struts front and back uh, will actually do a lot of the work for you. As it lifts up, walk with it and just push it over. As you push it over, it'll come down. Got a winch, self-locking winch. So we're just gonna unhook that, bring it down, hook it on and bring it down. You're not pulling it all the way down, you're just making it so it's uh, reasonably tight. Just bringing it down so it's sitting flat. Um, yeah, you don't need to do it too hard. And then we can open the door up. Open the door. Just inside here is your poles for your back section. Reach inside, grab the poles, let the struts help you and push it up. And then I'm going to take my poles inside the camper, just so they're with me. So we step up in here. I'm just going to put them there. And then I'm going to start pushing the front and the back up. Um, what I do is I actually sit backwards in the bed. You can see me. Um, sit backwards in the bed. That way I can just lean across from pole to pole. Grabbing the aluminium poles, unhook the clip. Just do a little bit at a time, a couple of inches at a time. You can see it starts coming up and forming a shape. It's going to lift the top up. I always work from uh, the front from the bedside backwards. So I'm going to take my two number 14s and two of the number 7s. The two number 14's got the very far, the front of the bed. What these do is just give the, um, just tighten it all up basically. You were just stopping for a night and you didn't want to put these in, you could probably get away with it. But obviously it helps with the waterproofness, tightness of the canvas, all that sort of stuff. Just going to give it a bit. A little bit more tight. And then I'm going to put my two number sevens in the front. They just clip in again, telling me in poles. Light, easy. Put that in. Button them up, lock them in position. 
and your bed's pretty much done. So we'll start working at the back. Lifting up, again, aluminium poles under the clips. Lift them up. There's no trick with this. This one's literally just come out of our workshop. Into there. Tighten that up. And same with the other side. Number seven. Up there, nice and tight. Then you get to set your, set your seating area up. Pull your cushions away. Lift your table up. It's just a couple of latches. As you can see, that just goes like that. You'll have a spare plate. Plate you can just chuck under the bed or somewhere else, wherever it suits you. Up like that. That's your couch area. Come around, just fix your canvas up so it looks nice and neat. Put your stud buttons in. Put your canvas down so it's all nice and tight. All the way around. And that's it, she's set up, ready to go. Um, hope this helped. Uh, and if you have any questions, by all means, give us a call or shoot us through an email. Thanks.